Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at construction 5, which is constructing a line parallel to a given line passing through a given point. For construction number five, we have two methods, and I'm going to talk you through both of those. Um, again, both methods are required. One is using a straight edge and compass, and the other is using your set square. So we're being asked to find a line parallel to a given line. So this is our given line M, and we're being asked to find a line parallel to that passing through a given point. So this is our point C. So we basically want a line that's parallel to, uh, to M passing through the point C. So we're going to look at our compass and straight edge method first of all. Um, so what we're going to do to begin with is we are going to draw a line through C and the line M. Okay, now it doesn't really matter exactly where we put that. So I'm just going to use my ruler first of all, and I'm going to um, draw that line. So just anything like this. Like so. And we're going to label this point, point D. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is we're going to place our compass at our point of intersection between the two lines, which we labeled D. And we're going to create an arc that touches off both lines. And I'm going to label that X and Y. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is without changing the width of my compass, I'm going to place the compass at point C. So remember that was the point that we were trying to draw our perpendicular line through and we're going to draw an arc. Okay, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to X and Y and I'm going to fix my compass width now to be the width between X and Y. So I'm just going to line it up there so that that is the correct width. Okay, so again, I'm going to use the compass to measure the arc between X and Y. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to place the compass point where the upper arc, which is this one, meets the line that we drew. And I'm going to place my compass down here. And I'm going to draw an arc. Okay, so where those points intersect, we're going to mark like so. And then using our ruler, we are going to join up the point that we just found with the line, um, or with the point C, I should say, that we started off with. And we're going to draw a straight line between them. And if we've done that properly, what we should notice is that the line that we've just drawn is parallel to our line M. Okay, so that is method number one. Now, method number two then, as I said, is where we're going to use our um, set squares, okay? So what you're going to use, what you're going to do to begin with is you're going to use your set square and you're going to draw a perpendicular line through C to the line M, okay? So that means we're basically going to line this up with our line M and our point C and we're going to draw a perpendicular line like so. Okay, then we're going to line up one side of the right angle of our set square at point C. So basically we're going to turn it the other way around and this time we're going to use this line to line it up and with our 90 degree line like so and from that point, point C, draw my line and therefore this line here is going to be perpendicular to this line M passing through the point C. Obviously you could continue that out if you wanted to, uh, out the other side of C, but it's passing through C and it's parallel to our line M. Thanks for watching today's video where we looked at construction number five.